rocket missiles have come a long way since their invention centuries ago. From being used for entertainment to becoming a devastating weapon of war, the evolution of rocket missiles has been a fascinating journey. In this video, we'll take a look at the key milestones in the development of rocket missiles and how they've changed over time. The invention of the rocket is credited to the ancient Chinese, who developed the first rockets in the 13th century. These early rockets were called fire arrows, and they were made by attaching gunpowder to arrows. The Chinese used these fire arrows for both military and ceremonial purposes, and they were typically launched from simple bamboo or wooden tubes. One of the earliest recorded uses of these rockets in battle was during the Battle of Kai Kang in 1232 AD, when the Chinese used them to defeat the Mongol army. The rockets were effective at causing chaos and confusion among enemy troops, and they quickly spread to other parts of the world, including the Middle East and Europe. In Europe, the first recorded use of rockets was during the Siege of Vienna in 1683, when the Ottoman Empire used rockets to attack the city. These rockets were much larger than the fire arrows used in China and were designed to explode on impact, causing significant damage to buildings and troops. Despite their early success, rocket technology remained relatively primitive until the 20th century. It wasn't until the development of modern rocketry and jet propulsion systems that rockets became a viable military weapon on a large scale. Today, rockets are used for a variety of purposes, including space exploration, satellite launches, and military applications. The evolution of rocket missiles has come a long way since the simple fire arrows of ancient China, and the technology continues to advance with each passing year. Robert Goddard is widely recognized as the father of modern rocketry for his groundbreaking work in the early 20th century. In the early 1920s, Goddard began experimenting with rocket designs and propulsion systems in the hopes of achieving flight to higher altitudes than previously possible. In 1926, Goddard made history with the launch of the world's first liquid-fueled rocket in Auburn, Massachusetts. The rocket was only 10 feet tall and traveled just 184 feet in 2.5 seconds, but it was a major breakthrough in rocket technology. Prior to this, rockets were powered by solid fuels, which limited their range and efficiency. The use of liquid fuel in Goddard's rocket provided many benefits over solid fuel, including greater thrust and longer burn times. The liquid fuel also allowed for more precise control of the rocket's trajectory, which was essential for spaceflight. Over the next several years, Goddard continued to refine his rocket designs and propulsion systems. In 1930, he launched a rocket that traveled over a mile in altitude, setting a new record for rocket flight. His work laid the foundation for the development of modern rockets and paved the way for spaceflight. Goddard's achievements were not initially recognized in his own country, and he faced significant skepticism and criticism from the scientific community. However, his work caught the attention of the German rocket scientist Werner von Braun, who was later instrumental in the development of the V-2 rocket used by Germany during World War II. After the war, von Braun and other German scientists were brought to the United States as part of Operation Paperclip to continue their rocket development work under American military and government programs. This led to significant advancements in rocket technology, including the development of the first intercontinental ballistic missile and the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union. During World War II, rocket missiles were a game-changer in the military landscape. Both the Allied and Axis powers used rocket missiles extensively, but the Germans were the first to develop a long-range rocket missile that was capable of wreaking havoc on a massive scale. The V-2, also known as the Virgil Tungswaf II or Vengeance Weapon II, was a rocket missile that was used to attack London and other major cities. The V-2 was a terrifying innovation as it could be launched from great distance, making it nearly impossible for the Allies to intercept. The V-2 was more than just a rocket missile, it was a technological marvel. At 46 feet tall and weighing over 27,000 pounds, it was an engineering feat that seemed impossible at the time. The missile was fueled by a mixture of alcohol and liquid oxygen, which allowed it to reach speeds of over 3,500 miles per hour and an altitude of up to 50 miles. It had a range of about 200 miles, making it a highly effective weapon that could be launched from within German territory and hit targets as far away as London. 
The V2 was a game changer not only because of its range and speed but also because of its devastating power. The rocket missile could carry a warhead weighing up to 2,200 pounds, making it capable of causing massive damage to its targets. The missile's explosive impact was equivalent to that of a small earthquake, and its sonic boom could be heard for miles around. The V-2 was responsible for the deaths of over 9,000 people, most of whom were civilians, and it caused widespread destruction to buildings and infrastructure. The development and use of the V-2 marked a turning point in the history of rocket missiles. It demonstrated the power and potential of rocket technology, both as a weapon of war and as a tool for exploration and scientific advancement. It also spurred a global race to develop and improve rocket technology as nations sought to harness the power of these incredible machines for their own purposes. In the years following World War II, rocket missile technology continued to evolve and improve as nations around the world invested in research and development. Today, rocket missiles are used for a variety of purposes, including space exploration, satellite launches, and national defense. The legacy of the V-2 carries on serving as a reminder of the incredible power and potential of rocket technology and the importance of responsible and ethical use. The end of World War II did not signal the end of the arms race, but rather a new era in which nations continued to develop and improve their missile technology. In the 1950s, the Soviet Union emerged as a major player in the field of missile development, and they made a significant breakthrough with the development of the R-7, the world's first intercontinental ballistic missile. The R-7 was a monumental achievement in missile technology, capable of launching a nuclear warhead from Russia to the United States with pinpoint accuracy. It had a range of over 8,000 miles, making it a powerful weapon of deterrence and a symbol of Soviet technological superiority. The R-7 seconds development triggered a massive arms race between the Soviet Union and the United States, leading to a period of intense competition known as the Cold War. The space race was also sparked by the development of missile technology, as both the United States and the Soviet Union sought to achieve supremacy in space exploration. The Soviet Union made the first major breakthrough in space travel with the launch of Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite, in 1957. This achievement was followed by a series of other firsts, including the first manned spaceflight by Yuri Gagarin in 1961 and the first woman in space, Valentina Tereshkova, in 1963. The United States responded to these Soviet achievements with the establishment of NASA and the Apollo program, which culminated in the first manned moon landing in 1969. The space race was a defining period of the Cold War and it marked a significant milestone in the history of missile technology. Today, missile technology continues to evolve and advance at a rapid pace, with nations around the world investing heavily in research and development. The legacy of the R-7 carries on, serving as a reminder of the incredible power and potential of missile technology and its impact on global affairs. The continued development of missile technology raises important questions about the responsible and ethical use of these powerful machines and the need for international cooperation and regulation to ensure their safe and responsible use. The space race was an era of unparalleled innovation and achievement in rocket missile technology. As the Soviet Union and the United States vied for dominance in space exploration, they developed a wide range of rockets, each one more powerful and advanced than the last. One of the most incredible and memorable achievements of this era was the launch of the Saturn V rocket by NASA. The Saturn V was a towering behemoth, standing at a height of over 360 feet and weighing over 6 million pounds when fully fueled. It was the largest and most powerful rocket ever built, capable of delivering a payload of over 100,000 pounds into space. Its engines generated a staggering 7.5 million pounds of thrust, propelling it at speeds of up to 25,000 miles per hour. The Saturn V was not just a technological marvel, it was also a symbol of human ingenuity and ambition. Its mission was to carry the Apollo spacecraft and its crew to the moon, an audacious goal that many believed was impossible. But through determination, hard work, and the power of rocket missile technology, the Saturn V and its team of engineers and scientists made the impossible possible. On July 16, 1969, the Saturn V was launched from Cape Kennedy in Florida, 
carrying the Apollo 11 spacecraft and its crew on their historic mission to land on the moon. The launch was watched by millions of people around the world, and it was a moment of intense pride and wonder for the United States and its people. Okay, engine stop. APA at a descent. Boat control both auto descent engine command override off. Engine arm off. 413 is in. We copy it down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Over the next few days, the Saturn V propelled the Apollo spacecraft towards the moon, a journey of over 240,000 miles. On July 20, 1969, the Apollo 11 lunar module, carrying astronauts Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin, landed on the moon's surface, making them the first humans to set foot on another celestial body. The successful mission was a testament to the power of rocket missile technology, and it remains one of the greatest achievements in human history. The legacy of the Saturn V continues to exist in the present, inspiring future generations to push the boundaries of what is possible in space exploration and rocket missile technology. As we look to the future, it is clear that rocket missile technology will continue to play a critical role in our quest to understand and explore the universe around us. One interesting fact that many people may not know about rocket missiles is that they have also been used for more peaceful purposes. In addition to their military applications, rocket missiles have been used for space exploration and scientific research. For example, NASA's Juno spacecraft, which is currently orbiting Jupiter, was launched using an Atlas V rocket. The rocket's payload fairing also contained an artistic installation called the Juno plaque, which was designed to inspire future generations of space explorers. Furthermore, the space industry has been working on developing reusable rockets in recent years, which could significantly reduce the cost of space exploration and research. Companies such as SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Virgin Galactic are leading the way in this field, with SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket being the first to successfully land and be reused multiple times. In addition to space exploration, rocket missiles are also used for communication purposes. Satellites, which are placed in orbit by rockets, are used for a variety of applications such as GPS, weather forecasting, and television broadcasts. Overall, while rocket missiles have a long history of being associated with military applications, they have also been instrumental in enabling peaceful endeavors such as space exploration and scientific research, as well as improving communication and technological capabilities. In recent years, the space industry has experienced a revolution. While government agencies such as NASA have historically dominated the field of space exploration, private companies such as SpaceX have entered the arena, bringing with them a new era of innovation, ambition, and accessibility. With a focus on reducing the cost of space exploration, improving the efficiency of space travel, and making space accessible to the public, these companies are pushing the boundaries of what was once thought possible. One of the most prominent players in this new era of space exploration is SpaceX, founded by entrepreneur Elon Musk. SpaceX has developed a range of rockets and spacecraft, including the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, the Dragon spacecraft, and the Starship spacecraft. These vehicles are designed to be reusable, dramatically reducing the cost of space launches and making space travel more sustainable. What sets SpaceX apart is not just its ambitious goals, but also its impressive achievements. In 2020, the company successfully launched two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station aboard a Crew Dragon spacecraft, marking the first time that a private company had sent humans to space. The company has also launched a number of satellites, performed resupply missions to the International Space Station, and even landed rockets back on Earth for reuse. With private companies like SpaceX at the forefront of space exploration, the possibilities for the future of space travel are endless. The company has already announced plans for missions to Mars and beyond, as well as space tourism trips for the public. As technology continues to evolve, it is clear that the future of space exploration is not just in the hands of government agencies, but also in the hands of private companies who are pushing the limits of what is possible and making space more accessible than ever before. Imagine standing at the edge of a vast horizon, staring up into the blue skies above.
You watch as a rocket missile soars upwards, leaving behind a trail of fire and smoke. It's an incredible sight, one that has captured the imagination of humans for generations. But what's next for rocket missile technology? It's a question that has intrigued and excited scientists, engineers, and space enthusiasts alike. With each passing year, we witness new breakthroughs in materials, fuels, and artificial intelligence that bring us closer to exploring the vast universe beyond our planet. Imagine rockets made from ultralight and ultra-strong materials that can withstand the extreme temperatures and pressures of space travel. With new advancements in fuel technology, rockets could be propelled faster and further than ever before, opening up the possibility of deep space exploration and the colonization of other planets. And let's not forget about the role that artificial intelligence could play in the future of rocket missile technology. With AI, rockets could be designed and optimized for specific missions, with onboard systems that can make real-time adjustments to maximize efficiency and safety. It's an exciting time for rocket missile technology, and the possibilities are truly endless. Who knows what kind of incredible feats we will achieve in the years to come. Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure, the future is looking bright for space exploration and the incredible machines that will get us there. From ancient Chinese fire arrows to modern-day space rockets, the evolution of rocket missile technology has been a remarkable journey. It has changed the course of history and opened up new frontiers of exploration. Who knows where it will take us next? Thank you for watching this video on the evolution of rocket missiles. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.